Command pride is key to suicide prevention awareness. You know, the, the foundation of a human being, of a person, no matter where you are, uh, of a sense of belonging, that foundation in our hierarchy of needs, if you will, is what gives us the strength to carry on, to move on during stressful situations. And it's never stronger than it is in the United States military. That sense of camaraderie, command pride, feeling a part of that big team can get just about anybody, in fact, it can get anybody through that situation if we manage it correctly when they're under stress and feeling at a point in their lives where they just don't think that they can go on. And it takes us, it takes this, you know, family of, you know, military, of our command shipmates to gather around and rally around and recognize when a fellow shipmate is not at their peak or is not their usual self. You know, and that goes into the intrusive leadership of leaders, you know, knowing your sailors, knowing, you know, the person that you work alongside with so that you can recognize that change in their personality and be there for them. Be approachable so that they can talk to you and, and not feel that they uh, would be embarrassed, you know, to talk about a problem or feel like they were less of the team, you know, if they came to you and said, I just don't think I can go on. We all suffer stresses. So what triggers my accelerated stress level may be different from yours. But what's not different between the two of us, what's not different between any of us, is that we are recoverable. Yes. That's the same. It may be different on how we seek our help or receive our help or interpret our help, but we are all the same in that we need help. No one, no man is an island, no sailor stands alone, no no one can get through life by themselves. But as military, we're trained to be strong, confident, independent, you know, sailors and soldiers that become a part of this team to be warriors and we can't crack and show pressure because that would show the enemy that we don't have a foundation and we don't have this perseverance. Well, you know, when you're stressed and you've reached a breaking point or you're close to that breaking point that's not what the enemy is looking for that's what we're looking for yeah. we need to know that no matter how strong you think you are if you're coming with us on a battle team where i'm relying on you for safety uh, or for course correction and you are not at your peak, and there's something that's troubling you, or you're under a great deal of the bad stress, you need to let us know because it could be a detriment to you or to the safety of the team. If we don't intercept early and you act, you know, under your stress moment or under your the pressure and you're not focused on the team, and you could harm everybody, you could harm the team, and most importantly, you could harm yourself. What we do is not um, a soft environment. Uh, so it can seem a little harsh when we talk about suicide prevention, when we say this is what it is and this is what we need you to do and this is how you need to look at it. Um, and it can take some folks aback and go, but I'm not, I don't wanna ask somebody if they're having a hard day. Suicide prevention awareness is key. As bystander intervention goes, this is the number one thing that we need to be looking for. If we are not in tune with our shipmates and with the people who work around us uh, enough to say, hey, this isn't like you, there's something wrong, it doesn't feel right, what's going on, talk to me. If we can't do that in a human environment, then we can't do that when we need to in a war environment. So we must be able to get through that stress of asking someone how they're doing and be uh, uh, someone who can intervene. You know, then we can't handle that in other environments. Suicide prevention is something we all need to get better at. 
Uh, and we get better at that by talking about it. There are many crisis hotlines out there. We don't care which one you call. Just know how to find one. Go to Google, go to 21st Century Sailor, go to Military One Source. Let's use our resources and get each other the help that we need. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.